In the heliocentric model of the universe, our sun is at the center of a solar system, orbited by the planets in the order of Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Due to this arrangement, as you can see in the following image, since Mercury and Venus are situated closer to the sun than the Earth, an observer on Earth would have to always be facing the sun in order to view them. If an Earth observer was on the dark half, facing away from the sun, it would of course be impossible to see Mercury or Venus, because the entire mass of the globe Earth they believe they're standing on would be in the way, blocking their ability to see Mercury, Venus, and the sun. This means that in the heliocentric model, the only time an observer on Earth should ever be able to see Mercury and Venus is during the day, when the sun is also visible. For an observer on the globe Earth to be able to see Mercury and or Venus at nighttime is simply impossible. As you can see in the following clips, however, and you can find by filming or searching for yourself, depending where and when you're shooting from, Mercury and Venus can and are both visible at night. For hours before dawn and hours after dusk, these luminaries can be seen shining bright with the sun nowhere to be found. Again, if these luminaries were truly orbiting around the heliocentric solar system, the only times they could be visible to an observer on Earth, the sun would also be visible. Naysayers will claim that seeing these luminaries before dawn or after dusk is due to some perfect angle achieved where the sun is being totally blocked by their ball Earth, but the inner planets are somehow still visible. When we film Venus two hours before sunrise, or two hours after sunset, however, the reality is that the globe Earth would be 210 degrees away from the sun, with hundreds of miles of curved Earth blocking their view to anything on the other side, and no line of sight possible. This is just one of hundreds of such proofs that you are not living on a tilting, wobbling, spinning space ball in a CGI solar system. When ready to finally cure your chronic vertigo and cease your dizzying spin around the galaxy, please sit down with an open mind and humble heart to watch or read the following presentation, 200 Proofs Earth is Not a Spinning Ball. Thank you.